We've got a big mix of everybody in the club. Gay, straight, bi, whatever. And everyone is welcome. The club has completely changed my life. BMW proudly supports the LGBTQ community. The challenges that, that people were facing in the 1990s were fairly standard. There was an automatic link between being gay and being paedophile. You certainly couldn't be macho. When I heard about the formation of the world's first gay rugby club, I thought I've just got to join it and help in whatever way I can. Okay, pick, pick, pick. Uh, the King's Cross Dealers was the first uh, gay and inclusive rugby club founded in 1995. We currently have 250 active members. Our club is made up of uh, gay, bisexual and straight guys who are all here to play and enjoy rugby together. There's many guys who self-exclude themselves from sport, don't want to take part at school, who then want to get back into a sport in their adult years and need a social group and a society. Well, I always wanted to get into rugby. Um, it was something a lot of my family have played, but um, I wasn't too comfortable um, joining one of the teams back up north in Newcastle. Yes, sir! I wouldn't feel as comfortable joining a club that doesn't label itself as inclusive because you've got that little niggle in the back of your head. Like, will they accept me for being gay? Will they not? Whereas here, they are all very accepting and I know that it won't be an issue. I thought I would just be here to play the sport in an open and friendly environment. Instead, the club has become another family. Being in an inclusive environment that the Steelers is, it's just great. From six people in November 1995, and a small committee and not being able to form a team through to having the Steelers fielding up to six teams at any given time. Yeah, let's go, slice, slice, slice. It's a wonderful pleasure. I want, and everybody in the club wants people to enjoy playing rugby at whatever level, but at the same time be able to say, I'm gay and it doesn't matter. Society has changed so much over the last 20 years. And I just like to think, that we as a rugby club have contributed in some small way to that.